You a citizen? Uh, I'm actually a citizen of Israel. Of Israel? Uh huh. Is this your vehicle, sir? Huh? Is this your vehicle? Uh, that's that's my business. All right. Do you have the documents to be in the U.S.? Yeah, I, I got my documentation that I'm a citizen of Israel right here. All right, can I show you real quick? Sign, please. Oh, okay. Sure. How you doing, sir? Hey, good. How you doing? Not too bad. U.S. Border Patrol checkpoint. Mm -hmm. uh, what country are you a citizen of? Uh, I'm actually a citizen of Israel. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have any your immigration documents? Yeah. Well, I have, I have a documentation right here that says I'm a citizen of Israel. It's in Ephesians chapter two. It says right here. It says that at a time you were without Christ, being aliens from the Commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you sometimes were far off or made nigh by the blood of Christ. And then verse 19, it says, Now therefore you are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God. So according to that, I'm a citizen of Israel. So. Okay, do you have any identification on you? Yes, I do. Can I see it? Is, is there a law that states that I have to show identification at this checkpoint? Yes. I don't know what that book is. You, this is the Holy Bible. Okay, well... U.S. law, you need to show me uh, identification. Okay, what law? Paper. What law says that I have to show you identification? Is this like I have to show my papers at a checkpoint? Yes, like that's exactly. Uh, what okay. Immigration documents. Immigration documents. Mm -hmm. And and am yeah, I have I have I crossed the border into a country? Am I immigrating right now? Where were you born, sir? Am I immigrating right now? Where were you born? Well, were I mean, you born I, do, in Israel? is there a law that says that I have to answer your questions? Yes. Where? You're saying, you're telling me you're a citizen of Israel. Right, but I'm saying I'm a citizen of Israel through the blood of Christ. I'm not saying that I was born in Israel. Okay. I'm saying that according to Ephesians so chapter country, 2... What country were you born in, sir? Because of Ephesians chapter 2, the fact that I believe on Jesus Christ has made me a citizen of Israel, according to the Bible. What country were you born in? You're not answering uh, my question. I'm not, I'm not answering your question. Okay. What country were you born in? I mean, you can keep asking me over and over again, but, you know, I don't have to answer questions. I mean, this isn't Nazi Germany, right? No, sir. Do you, I'm just, just driving down the road. Let me ask you something. Is vehicle bridges do you need? Mm -hmm. Well, again, I, I don't like to answer questions to, uh, to law enforcement. I understand completely, sir, but mm -hmm. this is an immigration checkpoint. Okay. And I, to, for me to be able to do my job, I just need to right. know that you are... A legal, res uh, legal mm. resident of the United States so is, is, or a U.S. citizen, sir. I just mm. ask you a simple question, and you will be free to go as soon as we figure it out. Well, what what reason do you have to believe that I'm not here legally? I mean, what reason in the world? I was just driving down the road. What what made you single me out to decide whether I'm a citizen or not? I'm checking everybody, sir. I don't know if you, oh, okay. I don't know if you notice that we got a stop sign. Mm. Are we stopping every so you just kind of assume everybody's illegal until they can prove that they're legal? Is that no, how it works? We just ask them directly. Mm. Okay, well. We to you, and you told us yeah. that you were from Israel. So well, I didn't say I was from, from Israel. I said I'm a citizen of Israel. Okay. Yeah. Just give me one second, sir. So, sure. Is the vehicle off? Uh, the vehicle's running. You want me to turn it off? Yeah. So you don't have any immigration documentation with you? I don't like to answer questions to law enforcement. Okay. I just like to just, you know, keep my just keep my business to myself, okay. do my own thing, not be harassed or molested at checkpoints. You know, I just like to live my life and have freedom. Alright, that's good. So because you know, uh yeah, that's what you saying. According to the uh, according to the founding documents of our country, uh, all men are created equal and are endowed by their Creator right. with certain inalienable rights. So here's here's my thing: if our rights come from the Creator, then that means that they don't come from government, unless you, you unless government a, created you us. Get a driving license to drive this vehicle. Uh huh. Yes. Well, again, I don't like to answer questions to well, law enforcement. Yes, you did, right? So you're abiding the law there. Mm -hmm. right? So why are you gonna buy the state law? Why are you gonna buy the immigration law? Well, because because according to the Declaration of Independence, I have name? certain inalienable rights. What is your name? 
Uh, are you a peace officer? No, what is your name? Do I have to present my name to you when you're not a peace officer of the state of uh, California? Because you're not really a peace officer. Okay. So why would I have to present my name to you? Okay. I don't know if you're a U.S. citizen or not. Uh -huh. You're legally here in the United States. Uh -huh. So until I determine that, mm -hmm. you cannot leave. Oh, so okay. You don't have immigration documentation, or you can mm -hmm. give me your name and your date of birth. So I can well, why would I have immigration documentation? Am I immigrating right now? Like, have I crossed the border or anything? I thought I was already in the United States. Yes. It's yeah. Immigration check so why? Yeah, but does every person in America have immigration documentation? No. No. So you're demanding that I show something that a lot of people don't have. Well, again, I, I don't like to answer questions. You don't want to answer anything. So I told you I'm a citizen of Israel. And I, well, I showed you in the Bible I'm a citizen of Israel. Huh? You know. You're not, you're, you're not telling me that you're a citizen. What's up? I, I mean, I guess you could figure it out some other way, right? You don't want to give me your name. Here you go, sir. You can figure out some other way. This is our authority right here. Okay. This is my authority. Okay. Okay. But this gives me the right to detain you until we know you're legally in the United States. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. You're claiming you're a citizen of Israel. You need to show me documents that says you can legally remain in the United States. Mm -hmm. That doesn't say you can legally remain here if you're a citizen of Israel. If you're a citizen of Israel, then you need to have a visa that lets you stay. So I, I, guess, I guess you guys need to figure out who I am or what country I'm a citizen of then. Correct. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So okay. you just need your name and date of birth. And then we can check mm -hmm. and to see if you have any legal immigration documents that allow you mm -hmm. to remain in the United States. So I don't have the right to remain silent? Am no, I no. being detained right now? You are being detained. Okay, right, yeah. so if I'm being detained right now, then I have the right to remain silent. Good. Okay, well then we can detain you until we know who you are and whether you're legally here or not. Okay. So you're not going to give us your name? Well, I didn't say I wasn't going to give I you my you name. name I, I Right, but I, I asked you in so, return if I'm required by law to give you my name and what law, what California law requires me to give you my name. Because I know I have to present my true name to a peace officer, but you're not a peace officer. Okay. You're a federal if, agent. If you don't want to give us your name, uh -huh. we can take you down to our station in Calexico mm -hmm. and we'll roll your fingerprints mm -hmm. and we'll see if you come back in the system with the FBI. So, ba so basically, you'll you'll uh, you'll kidnap me and take me to Calexico if I if I don't tell you who I am. You'd still be so what did I do to, to be stopped here? I was just driving down the road. Yes. I'm just going home. And this authority gives we us only need uh, mere, the authority. Oh, okay. we, check we only need mere suspicion. So it's kind of similar to the Nazis where they set up checkpoints. That's your own opinion. Yeah, that's your own opinion. By law, we can stop you mm. by mere what? suspicion. But, but what made you suspect me? What was your mere suspicion? You just said by law you can pull me over by mere suspicion. What was your suspicion? Okay. The look so on my face? Stop you. He asked if uh -huh. you were a U.S. citizen. Uh -huh. citizen well, no, 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 but you said you said you That's stopped me. I'm but hold on a second. That was after you'd already stopped me. I'm explaining that to was you. after you'd already stopped me, though. I'm explaining to you. Uh huh. All right. You want me to explain you? We need mere suspicion to stop you. Okay, right, you but but you stopped me before you I had any suspicion. You. Well, they they stopped me. I don't know why I was what stopped. I was just driving down the road and I and I came up to a stop sign and somebody had a dog and. What they told you? Well, they stopped me. You know? I guess you have anything else to do, right? You can be here all day. Well, I got plenty of stuff to do. I don't I don't like being stopped at these checkpoints. Like Man, I got plenty of places to go. You guys seem like you guys don't have much to do. There, there must not be a lot of illegal immigration. I guess the economy is so messed up now, I guess they're not trying to come up here anymore, huh? So you guys have all this free time on your hands so you can just use it to, to just harass people driving down Interstate 8 that aren't even crossing the border? I guess, you know, I mean, I guess it makes sense since the economy's all, since the federal government has screwed up the economy so bad, you know, I guess, <laughs> I guess the Mexicans don't want to come up here anymore. I'll tell you what, man. I'll show you. I'll show you who I am. Okay. I'll show you some idea of who I am. How's that sound? Sure. Okay. Let me let me show you real quick. Here, this is a this is a movie I produced. It's called After the Tribulation, and it's got me. That's me on the back right there. It's got my name right next to it. There you go. See, it says uh, Pastor Stephen L. Anderson. It's got my picture right there. So there's my picture ID right there. See that? Does that work for you? In fact, you can keep it if you want. 
you can you can watch it you if you like. Print that up at your house. I don't know. Like, I make you think you think I you think I printed this up and pa here? Let me open the package and show I you. GoPro Please. cameras too. I I make movies all the time. You make what kind of movies you make? Huh? What kind of movies you make? Wakeboarding. Oh, okay, cool. I used to do a lot of wakeboarding. Okay, that's your name right there. Yeah, I just I just told you my name. I showed okay. you on the movie. You, you can open the package. It looks pretty pro to me. Pastor Steve. That don't Pastor. look homemade. Uh, what's your date of birth? Huh? What's your date of birth? Well, that's that's all the information that I'm willing to give right now. Huh? I can do anything. Well, do you, do you have the internet? No, I just need your. Do you have the internet? No. You know, you guys don't have access to the internet. Not right now. Oh, okay. They open this right now. Gotcha. Can I have your date of birth, sir? Well, that, that's what I'm willing to uh, give you right now. This is this that. is the information. You can't do anything, with, can't do anything with this? Well, if you pop it in and watch it, maybe there's some more clues about who I am. Do you, do you have a DVD player? You guys have a DVD player? I just need to know if you're a US citizen or if you're legally mm -hmm. here. I don't know oh, okay. you, like, more than that. Can I see that DVD again? Yeah, sure. Here, you can keep it if you want. Yeah, hey, you can have it. Oh, great day, sir. Thank okay, you Okay, thank you. Thanks. Well, there you go, folks at home. You want to get through a checkpoint? This is your passport right here, After the Tribulation. Check it out at www.afterthetribulation.com or watch the whole movie for free on YouTube.